Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Verses of Enchantment, a roguelike deck builder where you use AI-generated poetry to defeat your opponents. Yes, I am excited and curious to see what that means as well. We're going to be checking out the demo here as part of the Steam Next Fest. So in we go. We got camping, we got Verses. This is in development there. Multiplayer or uh, or just like versus AI mode or or multiplayer. Let's go with the campaign. Welcome to the campaign mode. Let's go over the details of this interface. This is you, packed and ready to start your adventure. To move to another location, press a dotted road in between you and your destination. The, press the road? I can't, I can't click that. Yeah, all right. On your travels, you may meet other wizards to learn magic from. To interact with them, press their portrait tile on the map. Here you can see some extra information about the wizards you encounter. On top, you can find the wizard's portrait, name, title, and a preview of their deck of cards. Whenever a new wizard shares the same location as you, they might talk to you. A history of your conversation will appear here. Like where it was, when you share locations, you can challenge them to a duel. The heck? Winning duels is the main way to earn new cards and progress the story of Verses of Enchantment. You ventured out from home to learn about poetry? How wonderful! I can teach you what I know, so how about we have a duel? Oh, look, you look at that. Up here's your inventory. Contains everything you need on your quest. On the left, we have your portrait, name, and the amount of cards you've collected. You can earn new cards from dueling wizards you meet. In the middle, we have your decks. You can create and edit and move them around here. Leftmost is used during duels. Okay, these show the amount of gold and rations. Gold is earned through duels and can be used to buy rations or cards. Rations are needed to travel the world. Every time you travel from one location to another, you consume one ration. If you run out of rations, you will get a health penalty during your next duel. If you want to save on rations, you can rest to let time pass. And finally, up here is the menu to change options and return to the tile screen. Okay, so apparently we can buy cards somewhere, though. I wonder where we can buy cards. Oh, shoot. Whenever you're in a village or a city, you can trade. Oh, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to activate more tutorial. I'm sorry. Use the arrows in the trading menu to buy or sell rations at the price list in between. Change over time. Keep an eye out for good deals. If you want to trade here, you'll have to travel to this location. Gotcha. I was just wondering if any of these locations had cards in them that we could go buy. Seems like a new. All right. Let's give this a smack. Welcome to the Magical Duel, a battle between wizards. Let's go over the details of this interface. This is you, looking good. <laughs> Thanks. Try to be the last wizard standing by the end of this duel to win. This is your health. If your health is depleted, you'll be defeated, and you'll need to rest before venturing forth. This is your deck of cards. Yo! <laughs> this is your deck of cards. Your played cards will be discarded next to it. And this is your hand. At the start of your turn, you draw three cards from it to your deck. You can hover over your cards to enlarge them and get detailed info. Some have special conditions. If they're fulfilled, they'll sparkle. The middle, we have the selection area. Selected cards go here. Every turn, you'll choose three cards to play, selecting them one by one. And finally, we have the right button. When you have selected three cards, you can end your turn and trigger their effects by pressing it. There's more to it than this, but experience is the best teacher. Choose three cards and press the right button yourself. Okay. Do 10 damage. Deal 25 damage for every card in your hand. Uh, okay, if your card has less than, or if your hand has less than two cards, deal 20 damage. So could we do, like, discard a card? And then we could do, like, a freaking 10 damage. And then we do this, theoretically, we'll have discarded a card. So wait, when does the discard happen? Because then maybe we could go, like, bang, bang, bang? This does 10 damage. Does it happen in order? So we do 10 damage, and then we discard a card. I don't really know if I necessarily want to do it this way, but hey. I, I'm just curious if, if the ordering did indeed work that way. Okay. This is your opponent for this duel. They'll do their best to harm your health, so be careful. Conversely, by bringing their health to zero, you'll win the duel. After your opponent has selected their cards, you can take your time to read them over. Once you're ready, you can press confirm to let their card play out. Heal 10. If your soul burn, if your last poem contains mostly passion words, inflict three soul burn. Okay. At the start of your turn, the three cards you played last turn are used to generate a poem. There we go. 
The names of the cards are used as themes to write an original verse of enchantment. King, Moon, and Death. So we played the King, Moon, and Death card. So we have an AI-generated poem. In this poem, words that are also card names or synonyms of card names are highlighted. You can hover over these to see their synonyms. Some cards use these words as a condition to trigger their effect. If your last poem contains gold, draw a card from your deck. Oh my god. Greed needs the word gold or a synonym of it to be present in the player's last poem. Other cards require certain word types to be present in the poem instead of specific words. To nature words. Now here we go. The cards you play every turn influence the poetry of your next turn, so try and play cards that produce beautiful and useful poetry. Status effects are effective way to strengthen your opponent. Yeah, have them got you there. Uh, number represents the amount of turns. Fair enough. So we've AI generated a poem, and this poem will be used to bolster our uh, you know defenses or attack, I guess. So a king, king, moon, and death. A king, a queen, a lord to love and die. The moon has set, the night is long. O king, let us not go hence alone. Oh my. It's just a, a freaking AI generated there. Okay. Uh, restore 10 health and irrelevant to me right now. All right. My last poem does not contain mostly passion words. I should have uh, seen if we could edit our deck. I'd imagine no, because it said we had 50. 15 cards unlocked and we have a 15 card deck as far as i'm aware so i think that i think that we just have no choice but to just go with what we got um 10 damage restore health for every ego card you have in your hand again i don't really want to um so we, we're gonna have to waste some stuff i guess because i'm i have not taken damage Draw a card from your discard pile, and then discard a card from your hand. I guess I could do that to cycle quicker. That would make me draw death. Which, I don't know how easy it is for me to go down to two or less cards. So we could discard this. Because we draw three every single turn. And I have the... I don't know. I'll, di I'll ditch that one. I'll, I'll have I'll have a little faith. So wait, what was our poem? Hold on. Flower, snow, and desire. Love and the love of her was the rose's fire. And they were made one... <laughs> and they were made one in a long desire. They blossom in the dust and snow of time like a white flower that falls when the raindrops chime. Aw, oh, yes. Ow. Ten damage. Thankfully, it looks like I'm not gonna take why did you why did you not play the wind card i mean thank you it looks like that was gonna do 21 damage to me fire desire and time love and desire are at my feet life is here and the time is fleet oh earth to dust the grave to clay come with me and be our stay wow okay i mean i i have no nature words if your opponent is heartbroken do 20 damage if this is played with a gloom card inflict two heartbreak so theoretically, love... Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Playing love and sorrow together is such a... Uh, love, sorrow, and life is going to be the poem. So it looks like the order is going to be important. So we'll boo, do uh, heartbreak. You can't restore health. And then we'll do 20 damage and restore 10 HP to myself. I'm so glad you threw away that win card. Oh my god. Get wrecked, Flora. The moon came out from the east, and a mist arose, and we stood by the stream. I kissed her cheek, and I thought of love. <laughs> Inflict one soul burn uh, for every nature. Can't see what that is, but I'm sure I'll... Your last poem contains mostly gloom words. Seven health at the start of the turn. Oh, life and death in which we dwell, our mortal thoughts have passed away. We only know that all below is well, and love has been through endless day. Ooh. This definitely does not include mostly nature words. Inflict a rejuvenate on yourself, which restores seven. Okay, how do I, um... If your last poem contains two nature words, inflict to inspire. 
Okay, do I have a way to draw a card? Inspire yourself to do 50% more damage. Inflict one Rejuvenate for every Gloom card in your last poem. How do I... I mean, so I could do Wind and Sea. That would make it very nature-focused, so I could likely get inspired. But that would be throwing away these cards. Seven damage for every nature poem. You know what? Maybe if we do a, a poem about the joy... Wait. The joy of music at sea. Sea music. Maybe we can get, like, the music is the sea. Maybe we'll be able to do this. This feels... I, I could see this possibly getting a couple nature words in there. I mean, death. See, uh, I don't know, I feel like that'll get too abstract. I don't think it'll be that nature focused. Oh, this is a very interesting strategic angle that I definitely have not had to take in a deck builder before. <laughs> is what poem would this write? Interesting, interesting. Hmm. I yeah, like I'm trying to think of mechanically what cards we play. I, no matter what, we're gonna be playing uh, two cards that are actually literally useless because <laughs> this deck that they gave us to start with seems completely disynergistic theoretically wouldn't you just want to do a deck of like only green cards really you know what i'm saying like wouldn't that just be smarter like at best maybe like 50 50 like passion and gloom or something it seems like it would be a smarter idea but i gonna bank on the fact that hopefully we'll get because I don't know that we're going to get mostly nature words here. I'll tell you what. In case we draw, get that card that lets us draw one again, what do we want our last card to be? We could do it as... Uh, we, could do it like, we could do it like this. We'll get Inspire. Maybe we'll be able to draw Wind back again because of that one card. And then it'll, we'll actually get this nature going here. Fear of sun and wind and war on a day so fair, for what more could the mind or the hand withstand than his own heart and prayer? Uh, nope. 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 You just played a bad hand, Flora. Please. I see the sea and all its billows, the wind, the billow, and the foam. But ah, the joys in my vision that holds me on my home. I don't- okay. Not sure about that one, but hey, I love it, and I love it anyway. Discard a card in your hand and inflict focus on yourself, so we could do definitely this. Um, we'll have the focus, so we'll do how much more damage? 50% more damage. We could... Dis oops. We could discard Sorrow and then play Death afterwards, because we will have less than two cards. Focus is what? Draw an extra card at the start of your turn. Blue. Discard Sorrow. So this does 30 damage now. Yoink. She was a ship of the sky and of sea, a vessel of thought, a great mind to be, an heirloom of truth. 10 damage to Soul Burn. Ugh. Ah. Death is the time for us to go. Well, yes. And death is our appointed foe. Life and its pleasures are in vain. The music of the moon doth stay behind the curtains of the day. Oh, Lord, I hear it everywhere. Oh, my. Flick to heartbreak. I mean, we should be able to just, like, uh, you know, like, kill. Yeah. Kill, kill. Even we can restore some HP. War, fire, and life. Oh, I should have healed first, because... Yeah, I was going to say, that probably won't play. Uh, get wrecked. One card out of three? I definitely want to do that. Um, If your hand has less than two cards, draw a card from your deck. Here's the thing. I kind of want to... Like, taking this is interesting... Inflict a soul burn for every nature word in your last poem. It is tempting. But it does not help me get more nature words. 
you see. Which is already a situation I'm having issues with. So I'm going to go with the sky mostly. Not for the, not necessarily for the effect of the card. Uh, but for the effect on the poem. Such a beautiful poetry. You're already gifted with talent growing as the trees do. Oh, I thank you. I thank you. Welcome to the deck, editor. You can change the con- Yeah, I was right. We only have 15 cards to start. Change the contents of your deck here. These are the cards that are already in your deck. To make space for new cards, you can press any card to remove them from your deck. This is your collection of cards. You can press the cards to add them to your deck. You can add cards that are already in your deck, and the deck must have exactly 15 cards to be valid. As you explore the world in campaign mode, new cards and sleeves will become available to you. Don't forget to give the deck a unique name, and when you're done, press this save. Okay. Okay, so what, what am I, like... I gotta be honest, this seems unlikely. Mostly, mostly passion words. Seems unlikely. I'll get rid of Desire and add Sky. There we go. Uh. There we go. It's my nature deck. Okay. So we theoretically could maybe even fight you again. So how much food do we have? We have 19. So we can... The heck? Am I looking at the right thing? Oh, there we go. I can... I don't really feel like I need to do that. We can rest, and then maybe somebody will just pass in to uh, my locale. Because this doesn't take any f food. It doesn't take any food to do that. Oh, it's just you again. Would you come to town, please? So do they have, like, a route? It seems like it. You and I... Lady of Grimwhip. Greetings. Ah. You don't have much to say, do you? Well, fight me then. Have at ye. Have at ye. Okay. Discard a card. We want to save that for when we get death for sure. Opponent is heartbroken. Okay, we're, we're already going to, like, have a bit of trash. So let's just get rid of that one. Discard a card, draw next. Well, I mean, if we're if we're trying to cycle, then Moon is better. Like this is. I'm gonna keep Sorrow to play with the other with that other card. I think that'll be better. Like that had the Wombo combo of it played with a Gloom card, inflicts Heartbroken, so we can do that into Sorrow like very easily. I think that's the thing. Is just, I yeah. I'm gonna. I don't like this. Uh. Home war music. It's still so it's ten damage. It's something. Okay, so you're going to do nothing, except heal. You will heal yourself. I guess that is relevant. Joy. Okay, and there were war and a drum beat loud. The music of many a trump. <laughs> Yet not one stir on the camp land had she. Her home was a distant hill. <laughs> this is... This feels like, um... An old-timey diss track or something. I, I would... I, this, that's what this one feels like. <laughs> it's just... Ah, her home was a distant hill. Ah! A fool she was. Okay, so we could do, um, bing. Mm. Bang boom means we can't play the sorrow heartbreak combo. How much, how many nature cards will be in my poem? If we do it this way. Truly, truly. I still have not gotten the, uh, the card that goes with this. 
so I think I'm happy to do this and and ditch wind. I will be sad if we get like a lot of um. It seems like it's only guaranteed one of each, but sometimes maybe more. I shall rejuvenate. I swear, if this is more than seven damage. Fear, anger, and beauty. He who was strong and brave before shall bear today the anger's yoke, the beauty of his fatherland, and the sh that shame too great for fear. Discard a card from your hand to deal 20 damage. Are you kidding me? If the card is played with a... I mean, I'm going to get heartbroken. This card is seems pretty darn nice. Like, Pain and... Uh, what's that card that I have? There's like whenever you have less than X cards, draw a card. Uh, I think it's Sky. Pain and Sky are like a wombo combo, which is hilarious. Oh, my sweet babe, I pray you shun the night, for death is near to bring you rest and light. The moon may shine, but all the world is dark and love is dead, or... Or I'm lost. <laughs> what a... <laughs> you know what? Maybe... Maybe I just lost... I got lost? <laughs> one of them. Um, draw a card from discard pile and draw... And discard one of them. I mean... Okay, um, I like the idea of... Drawing death. This does... This can do how much damage? That can just do 10 damage. This pretty much... How many cards have we played? It would be nice if I could look into my deck. Like what I have coming up and what I've played here. Uh, that would be handy. So that I would know... I mean, I must have the combo for that coming up still. Because I was thinking that we could get... Oh, actually, no. I don't really care about discarding Sky. Won't be that big of a deal. Time, Fire King. You know what? No, it's it's Fire King time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fire King time. So we'll get Death back. Which I guess I'm like, do I want that back? It doesn't really matter. I, I don't think I can really mess with it too much right now. Okay. Discard. I guess I could discard Death. Um, all my nature cards are at the bottom of this pile here. The, the passion card, or whatever the heck it is, to go with sorrow, has to be in these cards. So I'm going to keep that. And it has me wondering, like, how am I going to be able to play death? You know what I'm saying? How am I going to be able to play it? So maybe I keep Sky to set up. A nature wombo combo. I think. I think we set up a nature wombo com combo. -um. The moon is dead and gone is light, and the day is lost in gloom. I look for you with longing sight, but find it not in grief or pain. If your last poem contains no brilliance, select a card from your discard pile, deal 10 damage, and then 7 damage. Taking 17. Ow! Screweth thy. And they will probably have mostly gloom. Okay, boom, bang. We're definitely doing that. Oh, hell. The poem does not contain mostly nature. Uh, love, sorrow, life. I mean, this is good. Like, we, we'll be able to do 20 damage. And they won't be able to heal for a couple turns. I don't know if they care about healing, really. I guess we just toss that, because I, I have Sky. We finally got this situation. That's what I was holding Sorrow for the entire time. What have I done, my brave companions? What care I now for war or peace? Now is the night at hand. Now will the wind take flight to meet us again. Ow. Wait. Oh, no, we're not taking the death. We're not even taking that. So we're getting three Dispirit. I don't know what that is yet. Deal 50% less damage. I mean, that's... I'll admit that sucks. Oh, life and death in which we dwell, our mortal thoughts have passed away. 
We've we, we did this combo more or less before. Uh, we only know that all below is well, and love has been through endless day. I I can't wait for the comments dissecting each poem. Like I actually can't wait for that. Uh. Three damage for every poem in your last hand. I mean, screwed this. Now, of course, we got dispirited now. Let's go for this, this, just for, to kind of, like, mostly shape things. I mean, three damage for every nature. It would be, it'd just be best to go for this, wouldn't it, instead? Wouldn't it just be better to go for that, then? Ten? Because we'd have to get three nature words to make that more effective. And it should be pretty easy for it to contain mostly words that apply here. And that's just, like, who cares, I guess. I suppose I could save it. We could do just the fire damage now. Sky, wind, and fire. Hmm. Okay. Just a little bit of rinky-dink damage there for you. Who in his youth's sweet prime, when youngest hope had sprung, didst fear the danger and partake of death's embrace? Thy name I honor, but a mother's death may be. What? So, nope. Ten damage? Yes, we are going to be taking ten damage. It's painful. Tis painful. The air is cold and drear, a winter sea, where all the wind of March has died away. Is black, is black with storm, the great ship drifts on high. She looks upon the sky with the yellow flame, and an angel sings in glory's name. Okay. Two damage for every card in your hand. We're not going to have very many. I think we save Moon for when we get death. So we're definitely doing the C. I feel like we do this. And I think we do that. I think I think this is just a nice, clean... It's just a nice, clean turn. 10 damage, a 7 heal, and we get another 7 heal. But at the end of the turn... Today, today on Earth, the old god's sorrow is no more. The night is past, and from their chambers the pale moon gleams the windows. Through the windows, as she looks o'er the waste of war. Oh my. Okay, so you get that. Ow, another 20 damage. But you're going to have even, le like, one less cart. We are going to have heartbreak, which means we won't be able to heal, which sucks. Okay. I do think you have the thing that is like a part they have a heartbreak destroy their life. Joy to the little bird that sings through all its green and sunny hours and finds in summer's golden hours uh, <laughs> an echo from the summer sea. Just saying hours and hours. I mean, if you say sure. Discard a card, inflict focus. I really, I do think we keep that for death. Otherwise... I don't know what to say. And this is just not going to be that great for us. We could, um... What are the odds that we get two nature words if we do this? We could... King, moon, and war... How... I think that a poem about the moon, the king, and war is not going to net me two nature words. I doubt it. I doubt it. I just don't really see them. Like, moon and music? Maybe. But moon, I think, is inherently just going to give me less nature than um, other nature cards. And that's something to think about, too, is the impact that the word has on the poem in the sense of, like, moon is certainly, like, a nature word. But ha as far as its nature influence on the AI, I would say it's probably pretty weak. Whereas, like, freaking you know, grass or tree or, like, an actual, like, an animal, I feel like is more likely to, for example, net me a poem that has to do with, uh, with nature itself. Where Moon is often just like, they looked at the moon and they were sad. You know? Um. Let's mostly get rid of it. We could, um, 
was gonna say we could do this and then we could draw it again, but then we would discard this, so why would we even play it in the first place? Um, whatever we play last, we can draw again next turn. Because I don't really feel like drawing this again. Uh, we could just get war for, like, for the sake of cleanliness at this point. Yeah, I, I, if it has two nature wards, I'm a little upset, but, like, how much do I really care about my long-term damage output when you have 17 HP, I have 40? Like, we're in the end game, maybe. I would be that same night as you, love, when I have had a day in pain, and though the stars will not shine, love, why should they keep my heart from woe? Ten damage! If you have no active status effect, heal 15. Oh, God. Oh, no. I mean, thank God that wind has nothing. Oh, shoot. It's soft. Okay. No, it shuffled, but that's fine. Um. Oh, hell. I, the king of men, my day is gone, is done. In the east, a new moon's rising ray, and the night wind cries in the pine woods gray. Oh, tis finished, and we are at bay. Yeah, we're getting pretty bad RNG as far as this goes, which is kind of funny. It'd be like AI generating RNG. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have heartbroken. I can't heal. I really don't think we use this. I think that it may be okay to do this to redraw that. Store. I mean, I want. I kind of want to keep life because it's a guaranteed ten. This is seven at best for me, really. But it's technically fourteen at best. Sure. I'm gonna regret that. I'm gonna regret that. Watch me get. Watch me get the card I need the moon. Watch me get the moon in my next hand. I'm a stranger here to you, the wind not so cold as when it came I knew in spring your booty, booty, your booty and your gold. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Pain is busted. The, the card pain is actually broken. 20 damage for discarding a card is not that bad. I heard the song of nation that's newly born, and I thought it was not too hard to make it good. <laughs> I think I could remix it a little bit and make it good. They are building it strong for the time when the sky is fair, but I'd rather be on their trail than they'd go to war. Don't get that one too much, but hey. AI, AI. Uh, draw one card from your opponent's discard pile and inflict one distract on yourself. What the heck? So, I, whatever I play last, you're probably going to have. So, you don't have that much in the way of nature. So, if I played music as my last card... That being said... I think I need to heal. Oh, wait. We could do... Oh. We could do bing, bang, boom. So we deal 10 damage, we inflict heartbreak, and then we heal 10, but they have heartbreak on them, so they can't heal 10 if they steal it. Interesting. 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 I am probably just going to get bopped by one gloom or something, though. Yeah, you just have... You just have war. I'm screwed. Oh, okay, we're not- we're not dead. And then I fear and tremble with the pain, I ask. Why does my sorrow come again? Is it because my own heart failed to sing, and that thou wert gone? Please don't take pain. Okay. Uh, thank you for drawing such a dumb card. Bad choice. Thank you. Oh my god, we- we have it. The battle's fought, the victory won! Oh, is it ever! Thy love is with me yet, and while thy hand hath smitten home, its life blood shall be wet. Again, this is a... <laughs> it's a little... Uh, I love it. 
Bonk. Bonk. Merle has won the duel. One out of three cards. I, I mean, sure. I feel like I care more about this. Discard a card from... I mean, wait, we can steal paint. This is just good. Like, especially since we have Sky. Seven damage for every passion word in your last moment. Nah. Like, beauty is good, but pain is just... This card is busted. I am the Lorex, and I am in pain. <laughs> um, we definitely keep both of those. Um, seven health for every... King is at least like a kind of reliable 10 damage. Okay, so what do we have here for... Oh, I see you're a student of literary arts. You're welcome to duel a duel any time, but don't expect to learn any joyful themes here. So theoretically, I'd probably want to just go over there and fight you again. Truthfully. And just get another, uh, another green card or something. But, like, I, I assume the full game is going to have, like, a little bit more of a, like, a longer-term kind of campaign-style format. I do like that we get back up to 100 every single time here. Discard a card from your hand and flick to focus on yourself. It'd be beautiful. Beautiful. It's a wombo combo. We get focus, which lets us draw that card back any next turn anyways. 30 damage. Moon death fire. Look at you ding dong playing last poem cards on turn one. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Like a sunlit rose upon the garden wall, a flower in the night, and it lieth low, and the light is kindled with a new desire in my love's, in my soul's core, like an opiate in the fire of love and sorrow born in the morning glow. Okay, 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 okay. Dial it back, dial it back, dial it back. Uh, definitely not mostly nature words. That was a chaotic poem. Uh, inflict two rejuvenate for every gloom word. Hey, I'll take it. Though I could do this and maybe even get more. But then we'd have to discard what? Fire. You know what? That's fine. Do we really need all that rejuvenate? Probably should have just done it. I should have just accepted it. Tonight, oh mind, is not the time for rest. The darkness of this life is dark and cold, but soon as comes the season of repose, a little wind shall waft thy spirit o'er the deeps. Oh my. Uh, discard. It, it did not contain mostly nature. Oh, you got, you got bodied. I'd be screaming at the RNG right now, Flora, if I were you. I'm ready for a gloomy poem now. Then to conclude, let us sing of the death of a king who was made by our lord so in the time when he died. Oh, well, that's just... This is just... This is just like a news article. Okay, so we barely... Let go. Let go. Let go. So we're gonna heartbreak, we're gonna do 20 damage as well. See, look at that, just modifying the deck just ever so slightly changed everything for this. It made it like really smooth. The wind, the moon, and the stars are all in a ring. I cannot see what lies beyond the sky, but it is over the sea. I am bound today for the for the king! <laughs> just, just a random one at the end. For the king! So we heal seven and then we take seven. That's annoying. Gladness, joy, and laughter, and love that never dies. I, well, all right. Um, we could do bing, bang, boom. Is that technically that'll do ten damage then? Uh, seven damage for every nature. I mean, yes. This is, this is the best we can really do here. It's not going to make a very logical poem. 
or very, like, I mean, none of these, oh, how many of these poems are logical? The winter was cold and the sun shone cold. What? Snow lay like a frozen snowflake. What the hell is this? But I longed and struggled with my desire, for I felt my life like an unquenchable fire. Okay, that you, you, you had me the first half, I'm not gonna lie. The winter was cold and the sun shone cold. Snow lake low, lay like a frozen snowflake. Does it now? Oh, really? <laughs> the water was wet like a wet water. I'm sure he thinks of me as the sun and I'm a part of him as the sky. I, all his thoughts are in my life, so let the years go by. Oh, th th some of these... Some of these have a shocking amount of, like, possible logic. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You are screwed. 20 damage, 10 damage, 20 damage. We are... We're a destructive deck now. Uh, draw a card from your... What is it? Discard pile. Inflict. Opponents discard pile. These are the cards we would get? I thought we'd... I thought we got cards from them. Like, looking at these, I'm not that interested. Like, because I, I can't really see them, but I kind of know what they are. It's interesting that you sort of get to see. I'm not really going to play Brilliance cards. I don't really care about drawing from their deck. None of that. Give me the 100 gold. So, theoretically, you'd probably just kind of like, Defeat it again, I shouldn't go easy on you. Probably, like, theoretically, you just play until you kind of lose or whatever for now. Or maybe even not. Like, maybe until you run out of gold gold and or food, I suppose, is kind of like the lose condition. I, I suppose that'd be the case. But you could always just, like, stand still, rest, 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 until you keep on fighting, keep on fighting, keep on fighting. So I guess they're, like, there's not theoretically uh, that much of a true lose condition yet, I'd assume. Unless losing a fight means you're dead. <laughs> Could possibly be the case. But, alas, alas, I think that's that. It's gonna do it here for today. I really love this idea, though. This is so cool. Like, this is so cool. When I think of how I would like to see AI utilized in games, like, this is a really interesting way of doing it. Like, I saw the dev say something along the lines of how this is just an early version of the AI and it's going to be, like, continually trained as well as time goes on to hopefully make more cohesive and spicier poems. And also, not to mention the fact that um, the poem's contents are based off of just the simple word cards you have here. You know? Like... Who's to say you couldn't, you know, get it just, like, it's very, very specific with it. Oh, we got different card backs. I see, I see. You know, you could have, you could just, like, have moose, you know, so whatever. You fill in the blank. It's, like, just a very specific thing. You could uh, see some really interesting uh, thematic poems and decks that could possibly come up. What a neat idea. What a neat idea. Oh, well, there you go. That explains that. That explains that. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. This has been Verses of Enchantment. Uh, I'm very excited about this idea. Very, very excited. Can't wait to see where it goes, especially after the AI gets trained more and it gets polished up, cleaned up. I hope that maybe, like, you can start with a deck that's maybe not so, uh, you know, jank, for sure, uh, in the future. But I think that it's fine. We, we were able to get through that hump a little bit there, but... Either way, good game, fun time, really enjoyed it. Make sure you check the link at the top of the description. You can either hopefully check out the demo still. At this point, I'm not sure if Next Fest is going to be over or not, but if it is, make sure you do, you know, wishlist the game so you can get notified either when the next the next demo goes live or when the game eventually does come out. Uh, but hey, thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites with an extra, extra specialty in the new and weird in the roguelike genre. I There's a certain type of game that people have said is Retromation bait, and they none of them are the same, but they all are kind of in the same realm as, as this, you know? Like, 
something that is a little familiar and then something that is very strange and kind of mixing them together because I think that's where some really fun mechanical ideas can come out here and I think that there's a lot that can be done with this idea and if, it get, if they just lean into it even further there is some really cool stuff here alas thank you for watching subscribe to the channel I upload videos and new roguelikes every single day, and as I said, especially weird ones like this. Well, like weird, not weird as in like in a bad way, in a derogatory way. Weird as in off the beaten path concepts. I I love them here. Thank you for watching though. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.